This morning, Kang brought us the good news that the transfer is already operational. As the evening progressed, the option for transferring servers was disabled, presumably for further maintenance to ensure smoother transitions and prevent any possible issues from occurring. While we wait for the chance to transfer to the NetEase service, it's crucial to get ourselves ready. As a real-life example, I will demonstrate a successful method that worked for me. Once again, I chose this method based on my own logic. Even though some players are facing difficulties with the transfer, I must caution you that by trying the transfer, you may run the risk of losing half of your items, ending up with an empty account, or even losing control over your game. For now, I suggest observing my method purely for educational purposes. It's advisable to create a new account with a different username, but still belonging to the same house. If you intend to start purchasing the Niffler pack or jewelry from the get-go, you're advised to create your account on NetEase's official website, known as The Loading Bay. When setting up your account on The Loading Bay, ensure you choose Japan as your region to prevent any potential blocking from the server. Now, it's time to open your Notepad app and copy the code of your Warner Bros account. Next, go to your newly created NetEase account, go to the settings, under the MISC section, press the enter your character code button, then paste your character code. After pressing the confirm button, you will receive a second confirmation prompt, which mentions that going forward will overwrite your current account with the code of your character. Please be aware that this operation can only be done once. When you see the floating message character code used, it means the code was successfully applied, and an automatic connection reset will follow. After the connection reset, your Warner Bros character will be available for use. Following the transfer, the items that will be retained include your dormitory, wizard spaces, decks, card levels, PvP ranks, outfits, facial features, coins, gems, jewelry, herbology progress, and plants. As an additional benefit, you will also receive 200 gems and 20,000 coins from NetEase, which will be delivered to your mailbox. The items that will not be transferred include the Niffler pack, your friend list, squad, social club, and profile likes. Assuming everything went smoothly with the transfer process, we'll now move on to discuss how to purchase the Niffler pack and any desired jewelry. It's evident that the Google Pay service isn't available. So first, we need to go to our account on the Loading Bay website. Navigate to the top-up section and choose the game Harry Potter Magic Awakened. Now, on the left side of the website, select the menu option labeled For Others. In the menu that has appeared, choose your server and the ID number of your character. You can find your character's ID in the knapsack, under the Info menu. After you've entered your character's ID, just click anywhere on the screen, and then take a look at the bottom of the website. If your nickname appears at the bottom of the website, you are clear to proceed with purchasing an item. Choose your payment method and the item you wish to purchase, making sure your card is worldwide and not region restricted. After pressing the top-up button, you will be billed. Enter your card information, and the item will be immediately added to your game account. Direct credit card transactions are processed by the Exola Wallet service. Despite the seamless transaction process, there's a downside to the Exola Wallet service. You can't view your transaction history. This lack of visibility can be an issue when you need to request a refund. I recommend using PayPal, as it works just fine compared to the Exola Wallet service. I hope this information has addressed many of your queries. I'll keep you informed with reliable and fair information, so we can avoid doing anything too hasty. In the description below, I will share any information about solutions for those who have partially or completely lost their accounts during the transfer. Losing your account can lead to serious consequences, so please don't fall for clickbait information or any kind of deception. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. Daniel, happy to know you're reunited with your mother. Thanks, but I don't know what to do with Elliot. It's a serious problem. Well, uh, I'm sure we can work something out.